This video will cover the topic, Solving an Equation Involving Logarithms on Both Sides, Problem Type 1. Before we begin solving problems of this type, it is important that we first review some logarithm rules. It's important that we remember the way that we can express logarithmic equations in exponential form. If we have a base b logarithm of y equal to x, it could be rewritten in exponential form as b to the x power equal to y. It's also important to remember certain properties of logarithms, such as the logarithm product, quotient, and power rule. The logarithm product rule says that the base b logarithm of x times y is equal to the base b logarithm of x plus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of x divided by y is equal to the base b logarithm of x minus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of x to the y power is equal to y times the base b logarithm of x. When solving an equation involving logarithms on both sides, we want to use the properties of logarithms to rewrite the two logarithms as one. Once there is only one logarithm in the problem, we can rewrite our logarithmic equation in exponential form, allowing us to solve for unknown variables. Oh, I think I understand what you're saying. Can we try out an example problem? Sure. In this problem, we are asked to solve for x in the logarithmic equation base 5 logarithm of x plus 6 equal to 1 minus the base 5 logarithm of x plus 2. What should we do first? Our first step is to move all the logarithms to one side of the equation by adding the base 5 logarithm of x plus 2 to both sides of the equation. Oh, okay. So because these two logarithms have the same base and they are being added together, we can use the logarithm product rule, right? Exactly. The logarithm product rule allows us to rewrite these two logarithms like this. We now want to multiply the binomials inside the logarithm together. We now want to rewrite our logarithmic equation in exponential form so that we can solve for x. Now what should we do? To solve for x, we can subtract 5 from both sides of the equation and factor this polynomial. With our polynomial factored, we can solve for the zeros. We can factor out x squared plus 8x plus 7 to be x plus 1 times x plus 7. And we know that this is the correct answer, because if we were to multiply them together, we would get our original polynomial. Okay, so the zeros for this equation would be negative 1 and negative 7. Are these two values our final answer? Not quite. We want to check that our answers will work in our original logarithmic equation. Substituting negative 1 for x, we find that it does work but substituting in minus 7 for x, we find that this value does not work for x. This is because logarithms don't work for negative values. So our final answer for this problem is negative 1. Oh, okay. I think I understand what's going on here. But just to be sure, let me go over what I've learned. To solve an equation involving logarithms on both sides, we must remember how to rewrite logarithms in exponential form, and logarithm product, quotient, and power rules. We want to use the properties of logarithms to rewrite the two logarithms as one then rewrite the logarithmic equation in exponential form so that we can solve for the unknown variable. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.